here on Champ, you're wondering how we're going to be able to remove a background color to reveal another image background as shown right here where we need to reveal this yellow background and remove the white background not only that remove a green background and finally a blue background and this is an interesting tool that you're going to find on Clipchamp really hidden but follow us as we go through all the necessary steps and all the modifications in our for way to have the best possible review possible so let's begin now first you might be thinking that hey maybe a chroma tool might be the best tool that you're going to find and that's not the case at all on clipchamp what you do instead is first you just click on the clip that you want on your timeline in this case i want this particular clip in here we have this particular shaped object in this case known to be called the d orbital of your atomic structure and no one is not about that too much but this background is what we want to remove we want to remove the white background and now for we to accomplish that all we have to do is move over to filter and once you go to filter you scroll down to the bottom and you have a specific tag that is known as black white removal now once you click on this you'll be able to have by scrolling down and other thresholds that you can play around with but most importantly you should change the removal color tag once you click on the drop down from black to white and once you click on white there we have it we are able to review now the yellow background that was behind that white background and we have our two images that are shown one image is R. In this case the orbital which is the front view as shown right here and the other is atomic structure or molecular structure of another compound so this is really fascinating to see and you can adjust it however you want to put it side by side and if you want to play it you can show that yes there is some motion that is shown side by side for those particular images now looking at this closely we notice that the one that we played around it based on the removal of the background shows that yeah there's some white that is also taken away from the main object and so in order for way to kind of modify that what we do is scroll down again to that section and once you click on the specific clip of our choice and then we go to the threshold we can fine tune it by dragging it to the left or to the right and see which is the best fit for this and you see closely as we move further to the left we can see that the surface is becoming a little bit more blue and that is really a nice way to see that we are indeed heading in the right direction for our tuning of our threshold for the color removal so that is the max that i have for it and once i'm done with that i'm good to go now the next one here is how about removing a green screen and you can see now that once you scroll right down by clicking on this first and highlighting it properly on our clip we can now scroll down to the bottom we see something known as green screen once we click on that we have whatever or once you hover around it it shows you a preview of what you have and so by previewing we see that hey hold and behold we have our yellow background that is revealed uh, beneath by removing the green background and so what we have now is that we can adjust this to whatever position that you want and you can see that this actually does the job beautifully compared to the previous one that we performed and so by turning the threshold doesn't really make any huge difference yeah kind of keeps it sharper which is awesome i'll just leave it that way for now and so that is it for that compared to this and finally you're wondering how about the glue screen how am i going to be able to fine tune a blue screen by removing it of course and revealing the main screen which is 
our yellow screen that we want and so to do that in this case here we have this structure right here and this is kind of a sf6 structure and what we want to do is when you have blue green screen we have something that is highlighted at the drop down menu but before we do that what we have to do is click on the specific clip on the timeline and then when you scroll down to the bottom you should see your green screen once you click on that you have this drop down menu once you click on that we have red we have green and we have blue now these are according to science primary colors and so based on whether your background is art you should expect yellow but because that is not shown here then green is the alternative and so instead of using green we want to remove blue and so removing blue implies that the background will be blue the background that is blue will be removed while we'll have our yellow that is shown right here or orange to be revealed and so once you click on blue let's see what happens there we go once we remove our blue we have this as our result and uh, this is the front image this here is the background image and we can fine tune this clip here to whatever mode that we want and by doing that once you click on this there we go we can fine tune it scroll down as you move further to the right it becomes a little bit more what color green or blue but then remember that if blue and yellow mixed together it looks like green and so this is really fascinating to see how that plays out here however once you push it a little bit further to the left then we need to be conscious of the white that is on the atoms around it and so once you push it further then that white disappears and you want to not let that happen and so we have to find the sweet spot and this is kind of the sweet spot right there and so this is how this is applicable when it comes to removing specific colors here like blue green and white you can remove black as well we don't have that example but that's a logic that we did for white applies to black right over there using this particular tab and other colors like for example red if you want to remove that you can go for it using the green screen part on the drop down you can pull that off beautifully so i hope you found this really informative the only challenging thing i think uh, this particular software has is the following because it's difficult to remove any other color outside of primary colors and the extreme colors white and black that is really a challenge that you will need better software to be able to execute that particular task but overall for the general colors primarily mainly primary colors and also the white and black colors that is really achievable so that is something to keep in mind all the same thanks for following me through this truly appreciate it please hit a comment down below let me hear your thought about this by that way i can talk to you all soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves